Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Simi Sarah here and I'm back with another speed build. Today I'm building specifically in the world uh, that comes with Discover University. I There's not many lots to really build on specifically like homes, but there are two side by side here that have this little like pond access in the middle. And I think it, that pond is a like reminds me a ton of like uh, the old English styled homes. So I wanted to recreate these homes uh, that are by the pond to better fit that like time period. So it kind of has that old country, old English manor vibe. So that's what kind of the title ends up being. But I think it fits a lot better into this world, this build that I have. The original build that's on this lot is just a very simple three-story home, very boxy, extremely boxy. Uh, and so it just does not have much life to it. Uh, so this ends up being like an English manor home. And I include, I believe, yeah, it's three bedrooms, technically four, but the fourth bedroom I use as like more of a gaming room. So you can turn that into another bedroom if you want to. So it's three bedroom and three bathrooms. And I created this with the mind that it would be like university students living here. I think since we're in that world, yeah, I understand that you can live in that world and not be attending the university, but I think it's more fun when the housing nearby relates to uh, the purpose of the world. So I pur purposely had the entrance facing towards the pond. I thought that was a bit more like realistic and just like a beautiful entryway into the home. And so it, when you download it on the gallery, you will only see the side view as like the front view. Luckily, when you see pictures in the gallery, you also get kind of a like a diagonal shot of the right side of the house it's not the most like glamorous but uh i think it it actually does end up working pretty well i guess that would be one of like as a builder one of my biggest wish lists is for the sims team to take that gallery and like allow us to upload screenshots instead of like having it pre-done for us uh, for the gallery pictures and and I actually think that same concept should be applied for the like growing together picture frames that came in the pack um, as well as like the Moschino ones where you can take the photos and stick them on the walls I so wish that we could use like screenshots instead of trying to like get our sims to pose just perfectly or that using only the specific poses poses that are in there it's probably one of my like most frustrating things. I love decorating homes with like um, like pictures that relate to the family and it just creates more of a personal feeling to the home. But it's so frustra frustrating trying to get like this beautiful picture or like a picture that even like looks halfway decent to put on the walls. Um, so in this home, because it's the English manor, I kind of wanted it to stay true to the concept of like that history. And so I created two separate staircases, thinking like the one would be the main staircase for guests and the people who reside in the home. And then having a back staircase kind of for like the help that would tend to live in these like manors or mansions. Um, so that like they could go up a different path the third story is just large enough for one bedroom which i thought was like perfect for one that the hired help type of thing to live up there uh, it's kind of like the butler you could if you have vintage glamour you could like hire a butler to live in the home with you and you could assign the bed way up there for him if you want it or her if you wanted to uh, this is though like I said decorated for like university housing so I ended up using that third bedroom for two more beds to get as many like roommates as possible into one home uh, I also had tried to like sneak like get in a door that would go right off of the kitchen in the back but the lot 
this lot is just like extremely small so I had this beautiful vision of like having maybe even like a garden and things in the back because I think that makes sense with when you have like an English manor but it had just there was no room so I had to give up that dream and <laughs> continue on uh, one thing with English manners is that the home tends to have small sectioned off rooms that tend to have only one purpose for them. So they would have a separate room for like a sitting room for when they would have guests coming in and uh, they would sit and wait in the sitting room for the master of the home to finish up with whatever they're doing and they would meet them in there. Then they would have like a separate room for entertaining, playing the piano, for performances, and so on. So you'll actually see that I tried to keep the first floor true to the English manor uh, like culture or just like the personality of it. So I have a very small sitting room and then right off of like right off the entrance and then I take the second room and turn it into almost like a performance uh, piano place and also throw in a chess table as well if uh, if you've ever seen or been into like old story or TV show type of um, uh, just like Netflix series and things like you, you have the mo pretty common one of like Bridgerton that's out but like you'll see the family all sits in the one room around like there's a piano in there and they're usually playing games or chess and things so I thought uh, that room worked out pretty well for that purpose as well as like the fact that this is like the university uh, housing so you probably will end up having a musician and another student who needs to level up for the science career or something in their logic skill. So that's why it was important to me to ensure that there was a ton of space for skill building objects. And you'll see that especially on the second floor. I kind of turned the hallway into um, basically like a skill building space so that each sim as they're trying to work on getting good grades can go and just use the common area to work on those skills. Uh, but on the first floor I wanted to get in a half bathroom so that guests and just you know if you're on the first floor your sim does not end up peeing their pants because that's especially with the new like milestones it can be so annoying now that they're like always embarrassed about uh, like wetting their pants or whatever so um, and then I use this room as our kitchen I also wanted to throw in a small table in here so it kind of had a place for like the hired help to eat it was very common that the servants or the hired help or would uh, eat separately from the masters of the home so I, I kept that also true to its like nature I do end up taking that wall that sections off the staircase and I get rid of like one more piece of the wall so that the railing of the staircase is kind of nicely shown um, just a little bit to kind of open that space up and I believe I add a window as well to get a little natural light into the kitchen uh, as well but I created a butler's pantry, which is essentially a room that connects the kitchen to the formal dining room. This allowed for servants to uh, more easily and quietly sneak into the room to continue serving the food from the kitchen, as well as ensure that they could like plate as much stuff as possible in the butler's pantry and kind of stay out of the way of the chefs in the kitchen as well. Uh, so I did make that butler's pantry usable by adding different like skill building or uh, just apply kitchen appliances like the coffee maker, the microwave, the dishwasher. I, I did want it to be a useful space. Then I, like I mentioned about the scale building, it was important to me. So I had like a mixology. I have a bar in the dining room as well for those who are working on the mixology uh, skill. And then that entryway, I also included like a fishbowl just for um, a little bit more like animation and friendliness uh, as well. Upstairs here, this is our second floor. This bedroom, I went with kind of uh, two different 
like sim types. I have one who's into sports, specifically soccer, and they have like these posters on the wall that they have. And then the um, other side for the other bed, I believe I, oh man, I'm like blanking on what did I, what I ended up choosing for like their interest. I believe it was art, but I can't like remember. So we'll see in a second, but I decided instead of having like two separate uh, desks, I decided to use a table and then having two chairs up against it with and just kind of cluttered it up. Oh, that's right. I ended up deciding to go with more of a, a naturalistic or nature feel for this student. So I put some plants and like a picture of just like beautiful greenery. And then the uh, one of my favorite like uh, wall clutter pieces, just that strip of uh, cork board type thing where you can pin stuff to and it just kind of has like the um, kind of like swatches and like working on color theme so that's kind of what I went with for that student and then I create the bathrooms to look mostly identical so you can kind of get an idea of what that will look like but the English manners tend to have floral prints in the bedrooms that was like a very common thing was to have flowers on the walls and then also just like intricate uh, baseboards and like wainscoting I think is what it's called um, to like make the wallpaper and the walls just like more detailed with stuff so I did keep the one room here this and turned it kept it a master so it has the bathroom connected to it they don't technically need to share it and I wanted to keep it a double bed uh, whether you end up just having one sim there or maybe it ends up being a couple that are both going to um, the university however you want to end up doing that but I thought that was a good thing to at least have one bed that had uh, the use for two sims and then you'll see like uh, here's this hallway I was talking about where I wanted to make sure that it has as many like skill building items as possible and so I actually end up moving a lot of those things to a different uh, those like the guitar and stuff into the hallway more I think because I wanted this room to be really just like a hangout place uh, so it's got the ping pong table the keg stand and just like couches and um, looking at it now I kind of wish I had included also like a stereo in here for like music so if you end up downloading this I think I highly recommend going back and maybe adding like a um, some sort of music piece I did that I think the reason I didn't think about that initially is because this build is only using base game and discover university so I did that so that it would be uh, able to be downloaded for more people and things but that means like I don't think of the music component as often because I I like the stereos from like uh growing together in the high school year pack I like both of those like smaller almost like dot google dot type of um stereos instead of like the giant dj ones so and then to continue make the rest of the English manor come together I like I said use that very top floor to get in another bedroom and then I have like this beautiful ivy hanging off the um, house as well and then I do end up finishing the landscaping for the rest of the house with the ivy and then bushes I do bring the entrance from the real like front of the lot to the side over here by using like a brick patio uh, and I think that worked uh, well in terms of like transitioning from what the supposed front entrance was supposed to be to where I actually wanted it. I did continue the brick path all the way to the end of the lot. I felt like that made more sense and had the telescope as another item to be able to use for your sims. I enjoy creating like the realistic homes where it's really fun to use for gameplay so I'm all about like creating additional opportunities for your sims to do what they love but anyways thank you so much for watching my video if you are interested in this this will be on my gallery under Simi Sarah S-I-M-I-S-A-R-A-H so thanks for, so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots at the end of the video